Hey guys, it's Paolo Synthmania. Tonight we'll play some Italo Disco with the Lindrum and the Bit01 and I'm just using this uh, M-Audio keyboard controller to drive the Bit01 via MIDI. But first to preface, <laughs> back in the day I grew up during the era of Italo Disco, I was a kid, but I still remember very well that period. No, it wasn't called Italo Disco, nobody, we didn't call it Italo Disco. Uh, we call uh, we kids in the mid '80s, early mid to mid '80s. We call it musica da discoteca, or musica da ballo, or musica dance, but mostly musica da discoteca. The term Italo disco was developed later. It's it's a good marketing term. It's fine. It's what I use today. But just FYI, I just wanted to let that out. <laughs> so I found an old file in my computer with a with a demo of an Italo Disco song that I recorded about seven years ago. And tonight I wanted to start recording it a little bit better in the studio and maybe making some um, improvements. So I wanted to take you through my process of doing so and my modus operandi of setting up the drum machine and synths. And, uh, but first let's listen to the demo that I recorded seven years ago. And here's the file, file that I found, it's called Paolo Italo Dance Demo from uh, 2010 and my notes say it was, to, it was supposed to be an Italo Disco genre demonstration for the Synthman.com channel but I'm gonna make this as a song because I like it and I used the Lindrum and I used the Bit99 which is basically the same thing as the Bit01 with the keyboard and then I used the Lexicon MPX1 double delay for the Bit99 Upper program 62 and then Alice's MIDI verb 2 for the snare and the claps of the Lindrum. And um, I'm, I want to make this song part of my Italo Disco record that at some point I, I, I want to make. I have all the songs there, the ones that I have, and you can listen them, to them at my website and on, on, on the YouTube channel. I have about four or five done. This is gonna be another one of them. But for now, I wanted to take you through the process of, um, of listening to the Lindrum and the Bit 99 and, and try to recreate this song. Okay, let's mark the tracks on the console. I got um, channels one through eight coming from the Lindrum. And I have the bass drum on channel one, the snare on channel two, and I, and the hi hat on channel three, and these are usually this is how I always go. Um, on four, I have the claps. On five, six, and seven, I've got the 
high tom, mid tom, and low tom. And then on channel 8, I have the click signal from the Lindrum. And then on channel 13 and 14, I got the bit 01 left and right channels. Okay, let's program the Lindrum first. The tempo of that demo is 105, so to, to, to set the tempo on the Lindrum, you press BPM and you will get a readout. Right now it's at 82, so we need to move it up to 105. And this is the, the, the one for the 100s. So it goes to 105. Okay, we got it set to 105. The tempo is done. Now we need to find a pattern and we're gonna just erase a pattern to start fresh. To do that on the Lindrum, you go to a pattern. I'm using the 71 pattern right now. And you press erase and then seven and then one. You hear the beep and it's gone. And it's gone. Now it's a, an empty pattern. Now let's record the hi-hat for the intro. There is a, a couple of bars of introduction with a hi-hat, a clap, and um, the tom-toms. Let's do the hi-hat first. To record mode, to, to enter record mode on the Lindrum, you press record and play. And the click starts. Now let's uh, record the clap. And now let's record a Tom Tom fill in the intro. And that's it for the intro. Let's listen to the pattern for the intro. That's it. Now we need to write the main pattern. All right, to record the next pattern, let's go to pattern 72. And let's erase it just in case there is anything there. Record mode and we'll do the bass drum first. Now let's do the snare. Now the hi-hat. And finally, the claps. And there we have the complete main pattern for that demo. It's just a simple two bar demo, two bar loop. Okay, now I'll record these two patterns in the sequencer and then we'll record the bass part and the brass part, brass slash melody part, and we'll add the effects in the mixer as well. And now for syncing to the sequencer, I could use a sync box. I have a few sync boxes, but for just the sake of ease, I will uh, use MIDI from the sequencer since I had um, a few years ago I had this Lindrum Midify by Bruce Forat. For this project uh, tonight I'm using Sonar and we'll add seven tracks audio tracks and we'll assign all these tracks to each of the channels on um, the Lindrum bass drum, snare, hi-hat, claps, 
high tom, mid tom, low tom. We don't need to do the click. And then we'll go to the, we'll go to the properties and we'll make sure to set it so that it transmit the MIDI star, continue and stop the clock. So as soon as um, I click uh, start on the sequencer, the Lindrum also will start. Let's set the tempo to 105, which is the tempo of the song. And the way the 4 app MIDI works with the Lindrum to start sync, uh, external sync from MIDI, you have to turn it off and then turn it on while pressing the external sync button. And now the Lindrum will be started from the sequencer. And now when I press play on the sequencer, the Lindrum will start like this. And of course it will keep the sync, the master sync from the sequencer. Okay, now let me record the, um, the two parts in the sequencer real quick and then we'll do the bass and the melody. And to show you the routing um, on the console, I could have used the auxiliaries to send the, the Lindrum sounds to the sequencer, but I elected to use the direct outs from the channels instead. So I have the direct line out going to the direct line out from, from the input channels going to, uh, directly into the tape tracks. Okay, I got the keyboard of my PC here, and as soon as I start uh, recording, the Lin drums should start, and I'll select uh, pattern 71 here, and then I'll switch to 72. So let's record it. In Sonar, you press R to R to record. 72. Now let's take a look. Okay, as you can see, all the tracks from the Lindrum have been recorded, and now let's record the bit 01. Okay, let's create a track for the bit bass, and we'll name it bass. And we'll assign it to track. 13 and again on the mixer I could have used the auxiliary but I elected to use a direct out from the channel 13 and I forgot to specify that we should really record a MIDI track for the bass so that, so that we can quantize it so let's add a MIDI track now for the bass And um, let's record a MIDI. Okay, now let's practice the, the bass line on, um, on the keyboard. And actually, when I played the original demo, I used the, the split feature on the Beat 99, and I actually played both parts at the same time, kind of like this, you know. have a four a four octave um, controller so I can't quite do that right now so also I like to separate the bass and the brass so we can um, tweak them further in separately in the sequencer so let's do the bass the bass line goes like this chorus you know the the, the money <laughs> line because that's that's the chorus it, it changes to G minor it goes like so forth so let's record a MIDI 
And so again, we'll, we'll press record on the Logitech keyboard and we will record the MIDI part for the bass line. And then since I know people will ask me about this, I might as well put it in the video. The way I am connected via MIDI to the Bit01, the Krumar Bit01, is I'm coming in from, from the M-Audio keyboard to the MIDI in of the Bit01. And then I'm going from the MIDI through of the Bit01. And to the input of the the recorder of the sequencer and these are all the out the separate outputs on the Lindrum that I'm using and as you can see the MIDI track has been recorded in the sequencer and now I'll just get in and do some tweaks and fix some bad notes and here is the larger version on um, of the notes the MIDI notes of the bass line on the piano roll I'll just select all of them and uh, quantize them, or you can also input quantize. And now they're all quantized, and the velocity looks pretty good. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. We can do some MIDI editing. You see here, there is a bat note. If you press play, there's a double note, so you just uh, take this note and delete it and so forth and also you can uh, select them all and make them all the same length if you want to if you don't want to have that feel or you know the typical sequencer feel so now it's got all the notes have the same length that's a little bit a little bit too long for my taste so we'll just uh, bring it back a little bit And I forget to say that um, since these are similar patterns, if you want, you can also record just one bar or two bar and just copy it over. Um, I, I like to play, so I like to play it from the top to the end of the tune. And now we arm the bass audio track for recording. And let's record the audio being played back, being played from the MIDI. And as usual, let's press record and let's record the audio from the bass. And here we go, the audio from the bass has been recorded in the sequencer. And again, let's set up the MIDI track for the lead part so we can lock it to MIDI and now let's practice the brass part the lead part and it goes something like this and then the the money the chorus line goes something like Now let's play back 
the lindrum and the bass part from the sequencer and let's record the MIDI for the lead part or the brass part. That's the MIDI data track for the lead part. Now, as we did for the bass, let's record the audio for the lead track. And that's a screenshot of the MIDI notes for the lead already corrected and quantized. And again, just like we did for the bass part, all we need to do is to press record on the other track and the MIDI will play back the notes and the audio from the bit 01 will be recorded. All right, music lovers, that's it for tonight. I'll do a quick mix and then I'll post this full song at the end of the video. Uh, if you find this content interesting, let me know, and if there is something you would like to see in particular, also let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.